Dear customer, we thank you for purchasing Ningbo Ultrasonic Homogenizer. Your ultrasonic homogenizer consists of two parts. First is your ultrasonic controller and second is your ultrasonic probe. This is a sound reduction box for the probe where you can see that here you can put your sample. The smaller vials can be moved up and down with the help of on this rod. This machine is quite easy and you can fit in 5 to 10 minutes on your own. Once you get the machine, there you can see that there is a probe selector switch. It's an analog switch. It says 3 mm probes, 6 mm probe and 10 mm probe. If your probe size is below 3 mm, you have to select 3 mm. In between 3 to 6 mm, you have to select 6 mm. And in between 6 to 10 mm, you have to select 10 mm. Once you receive your machine, there can be different probes that can be attached to the transducer part. What you will see that there is a difference in the design of the probe for 6 mm and the smaller probes. Like you can see that in 6 mm, this is the probe and this is the probe for 3 mm. On 3 mm probes, you will find a cut for the spanner, but on 6 mm, it's not there. So we are going to review the procedure how to change the probes. You will see two special tools for opening the probes. There is one bigger tool and there is a second one that is a smaller tool. What you have to do is for opening the probes in one of these holes you have to put the tool like this and the other tool like this and then pressing the upper one you have to open the probe once it is loosened a bit you can open it actually with your hands so it's a very simple job which takes not more than a minute so this is our 2 mm probe and here I am tightening the 2 mm probe It goes in the top special tool still you have to hold and maybe you have to now reverse the direction because now you are tightening it so I have reversed the direction of the top special tool and with the help of the spanner of 19 centimeters now you can tighten the 3 mm probe. Make sure it is tied properly and it's done. <coughs> so once your probe is ready of the desired size, we here we have selected 3 mm, you have to put it on the generator part. Here you can see that there is a small cut on this cable and here there is a line to adapt this cut so insert straight push it and tighten the threads and your probe is fixed so here i'm just sliding the probe and it simply rests on the cover so our sound reduction box it's done Now after that, there is a temperature sensor. It's basically a protection. It doesn't control the temperature, but it senses the temperature of your liquid so that if the temperature of the liquid goes above the set point, the machine stops. Here again, you have to fix the same in the same manner. This groove will go on the line push it 
and just tighten it. So this sensor you can route through a small hole on the top part of the machine, slide it properly and for this time you can leave here. Now the next part is your power cable. For Indian customers, uh, the power cable comes as per the US standards. So you can put a 16 ampere plug of Indian style and that works well. Simply insert the cable on the back and route it to your power source. This is the platform where you can put your bigger sample beakers, but in case if you are having a small sample vials, then you can have a very different. If you are having a very small sample wire like this, you have to use a different assembly. Let's go and take a review of that. This is a small assembly where we can fit here. So this is quite easy. We have to keep it like this and tighten the nut at some position. This is done. And then this is a gripper that again we can tie it here in the same manner. That's done. And now we are tightening our sample vial. We can adjust the position of this, we can slide it up and down, done. So this is the way we can put our small vial. Take care that the tip of the probe should be at least 1.5 centimeters or more than that in the sample. Now we can slide our temperature sensor and put it in the vial. So here we have put our sample vial. Now we are coming to the generator part. We have put the power on and from the back we have put the power on. Here you can see some display is coming. Let us go through to these. This percentage which shows the percentage of the power. This 28 degree centigrade is the temperature that temperature sensor is sensing at the moment. Here we can select our probe. At the moment we are having 3 mm probe so we have selected 03. If we want to change it with the up and down cursor we can change it like 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 1 mm, 10 mm and now again we are at 3 mm. Press set and it takes the value. Mode is a programming number. We can store up to 99 programs. Time is this will run for 5 minutes. On is on cycle for 2 seconds. Off is off cycle for 1 second. We can increase and change these parameters. If we want to do that so here we can increase the time. Let's say we want to run. Here this is the power 50%. This is the temperature 50 degree. So during the run if the temperature shoots above 50 degree the machine will stop. Here one important point is that the on cycle should not be more than 
six seconds continuously and there has to be one off cycle of one second or more one more important point is that for two and three mm probes the minimum power should be 30 percent and if we are using 95 percent power then it should not be for a very long time otherwise it may damage the probe so here we have set the parameters at program number one the run time is five minutes on cycle is two seconds let us increase to four seconds and here i will say set and it will store the parameters so now we are ready to run and we can say start so four second on one off and then again four second on here you may see that the temperature is rising 30 degree it has come to 30 so once it will reach 50 degree or above 50 degree the machine will stop so that your sample should not get spoiled this is a brief demo of the machine we once again thank you for purchasing Ningbo ultrasonic homogenizer if you are having any queries you can contact unigenetics instruments private limited they are indian distributors thank you very much